we're gonna stand facing this. Baseball's a, a tough game as it is. Uh, I think if you if you give it everything you have every single day, uh, you get the most out of your ability. And there's some players that are gifted with, with a lot of talent, and some players uh, that are that are gift, gifted with a little uh, little extra motivation. I think uh, in order to, to be the best you can, I think that extra motivation uh, is huge. It's 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 tough at times because baseball is a, it's a long season. It's an everyday grind, and it's a wear and tear on your body, but. You know, as long as you can look at yourself in the mirror every every night after the game, say, "Hey, that's all I had." That's the only way to go about it. Well, for me, I try to look at the, the big picture in terms of training. The training is is it's it's hard at times. There's times you don't want to wake up at seven in the morning uh, every single day of the week, but it's part. Like I said before, it's part of what you have to do to continue to get better, uh, and you have to look at the long the, the big picture and what your goal is, is, and your goal is to try to get better, try to become a better athlete, try to be stronger, try to be quicker. And if you can do all those things with a, with a good positive attitude, you know, who knows what can happen. Um, just a, lot, a lot of repetitions, try to, try to stay in a good strong position uh, with your core uh, and, just, and just work at it, whether it's pulling weights behind you, uh, whether it's uh, you're strapped to a bungee cord that kind of flings you along. Uh, anything to, to make you a better athlete, uh, I'm all for. I, I think the best way to get the most out of your workout is to have someone there motivating you, making sure you're doing the, the, everything correctly. Um, because you can do a movement and you think that you're doing it right, but you're not doing it right. So someone there that has an extra set of eyes is always nice. For me, training, training in the off season is, has nothing to do with the baseball side of things. It's all about getting my body in, in a position that's ready to c compete. Um, hitting, throwing, um, things like that are baseball activities, um, I'm not focusing on when I'm working out. I'm focusing on getting stronger, getting quicker, um, just trying to become a better athlete. You always try, want to try to stay as positive as, as possible in baseball. You, you fail 70% of the time, you're still pretty successful. So there's a lot of failure you have to deal with. Um, so trying to stay positive, trying to stay motivated, trying to keep everyone around you with that same mentality. Um, if you can do that, you, your team's going to be okay. Well, for me, it's all, it's, I think the stronger I am, the, uh, the more powerful I am, the better player I am. So. I'd say some kind of strength movement would be would be good. You know, come the end of the off season when I'm feeling good about my workouts, I'll do some pull-ups all day long. Those are those are fun. Well, I mean, if you if you're gonna try to do something, you got to be focused. And it, there's a lot of distractions out there, but you have to try to stay on that straight line. Try to stay focused. Try to or know what what you need to do to, to improve. Um, and the better you know yourself, uh, the better you're gonna be off.